Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for why is there no contact? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a person reading me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, I am going to, as you can see, there's multiple decks we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to go over why is there no contact? What do they wanna to say to you that they haven't said? Will there be contact? And what are some of the blessings and good things coming in for you in the next three months for your romantic love life? All right, my darlings, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, you want me to do this reading again, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on with my Sagittarius's romantic love life? Why is there no contact from their love connection? Why is there no contact from their love connection? The one they're out of contact with. Why is there no communication from this person? Be as clear cut as possible, spirit. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So we got the Six of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Full Card Energy. We have the Sun Card Energy. We have the Temperance Card Energy. We have the Two of Wands Energy, and we have the Ten of Cups. So, and the bottom of the deck is, there's something to do with timing here. Lack of timing, not the right time. Okay, so let's go further on this. So we got the Six of Cups. The, excuse me, the Six of Swords. I, I feel like for some of you, there's a long distance situation, so there could be travel or actions that need to be taken here uh, to heal this situation. Because it almost seems like this person seems to be looking at the distance and they're looking, there's a huge ocean, there's a lot of space between you and this person. So I feel like for some of you, there could be some long distance situation going on here. Okay, uh, as far as why there is no communication. Sixes also could talk about the fact that this person is trying to overcome some challenges here. Okay, they have to take some kind of risk here with the full card energy, some kind of leap of faith, some kind of risk. I'm gonna also clarify to see if this is someone new here because that can represent the child card energy, full can. So we see, or they are concerned about being foolish until things are healed here as well. This person may be really focused on what makes them happy here and they're concerned about making any abrupt decisions because the Knight of Swords is like a very cutting kind of energy. It's a very abrupt kind of energy, the Knight of Swords. So um, it can cause like arguments. It could be somebody who's going to speak harsh, harsh speaking here. Okay, the Knight of Swords energy. Uh, abrupt actions, so they're concerned about making any abrupt actions. They, they feel like it could affect their happiness. They may be focused on an opportunity here with the Ace of Wands energy and trying to be patient to bring things in about. So first of all, let's see what the full card's about before we go any further. Why is the full card here? Why is the full card here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. The full card is here is because of a text message letter or document, okay? And it's something to do with a text letter, message, document, or paperwork, and going out, or something to do with other people. The ship card does talk about long distance, travel, movement, or change. So they're concerned about taking a risk, looking foolish, because this something to do with this text message letter or document, and going out, or something to do with the public, or missing you, okay? So they are concerned. They are looking at their options. Some of you guys, yes, they're looking at some options here, okay? Uh, before they do some kind of movement or change here around the situation, because the full card can talk about someone new, okay? But I'm not seeing the child card energy. So let's see what the Six of Swords is about. What is the Six of Swords about, please? What is the Six of Swords about, please? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. A conversation about what's eating away at them through a text message letter, a document about people. Okay, so this may involve other people for this person, okay? Okay, it could involve someone new, possibly they may be looking at someone new with the full card energy. They could be examining if they should go for someone new, okay, with the full card energy. That's for some of you, okay? For others of you, 
they are concerned about taking a risk, okay? Because they don't want to make any abrupt decisions. Um, they are looking at this as a way of, I need to be patient for things to heal here. And they keep going back and forth in their head about the situation, like what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? Two of Pentacles energy, I need to make a decision here. Do I have a new beginning with them or do I explore new things here, right? So they're going back and forth about what's gonna make them happy, okay? So I'm just gonna get more information before we go any further here, because they do look at you and they're like, Sagittarius really makes me happy. I know that we've spent a lot of great time together and maybe I just need to be patient and allow things to heal and not make any abrupt decisions towards this new opportunity. I need to really weigh this decision very heavily and not let other people affect what I want to do here. I could just reach out to them, I could flirt and see what happens. I really emotionally want to bring things into balance, but I don't want to headbutt them about this situation when it comes to my happiness. I want a sense of completion or a sense of accomplishment here. All right, so why is it Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why is it Sagittarius' love interest in contact with them? Why is there no contact right now? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's go further on this. And also we look at the numbers, healing, recovery, and love, and taking an action towards an opportunity. I have to make a choice here. There's some potential here, but I don't wanna take a risk here towards something to do with my happiness. I should be patient here in making this choice till something is accomplished or completed here. All right, so we got Queen of Wands. We got the Tower card. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the moon, the seven of swords, the queen of air, and the five of swords. So just reading this, I'm gonna be patient here until I have a breakthrough, because I feel stuck. Then I'll give them a message, because I'm confused right now, and I don't know how to be honest with them about what this truth is, because I'm defeated in this energy. I have my wall up here. Because I, I am just burdened, I'm, I'm feeling exhausted, I'm feeling stressed, I'm in, feeling imbalanced here, and I really feel this sense of heartache here with the Three of Swords energy when it comes to this message of love, this new path in love here. And I don't want to deal with my emotions right now and take romantic gestures, Knight of Cups energy, because I want to make the best decision when it comes to love, King of Cups energy, and King of Pentacles energy, and also based on the long term, can't just go be a Pisces energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So I need to wait for the right time um, so I can have a happy home here and I can be focused on the long term here, Ten of Pentacles energy. Instead of stressing here, Nine of Swords energy about communication, Eight of Wands energy and looking at the, the indecisions I have about it. So I'm going to wait for the right time, Wheel of Fortune energy, and I'm going to slow walk it, Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay, so let's keep going here, Sagittarius. So now we're gonna get more information. And the way we're gonna get more information from this situation is we need to ask, what do they wanna tell you that they haven't said to you? That's gonna give us a lot more information too and insight about what's going on with their mindset. So let's see. What does Sagittarius's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, what is Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're out of communication with, what did they want to tell Sagittarius that they haven't said to them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Obviously the card that wanted to come out was uncertainty and a uh, crossroads. So we see that this person wants to say to you, there's been challenges, there's delays, there's challenges, there's unhealthy obstacles here. And look at that, again, they're waiting for the right time. They're waiting for things to align here for the right time because the delays, they're, they're concerned about the timing. And we see this person's like, all right, I need to spend some time alone. Um, I wanna see if I should be single and available to pursue or I'm gonna isolate myself. And we see, spend time with friends possibly here or I wanna be single and available to pursue. We can just be friends for some of you because I have regrets about what happened. Okay, so 
There's challenges here. They want to wait for the right time for them to be single and available to pursue. There may be other people involved in the situation that they feel regretful about. Okay. Let's find out what else they want to tell you. What do they want to tell Sagittarius that they haven't said to Sagittarius? Their love interest that they're out of contact with. What do they want to tell Sagittarius? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay. We'll see. They want to tell you that the answers that you need are coming, Sagittarius. And that they don't want the past to hold them back. That they feel like if you let the past hold you back, then nothing will come of the situation. Because they really need to bring their emotions into balance and they're really thinking about this meditation, contemplation. And they're trying to step outside of their comfort zone because this is something that was different from their usual type and expectations. So going further, Sagittarius, let's see what else they have to say. What is Sagittarius's love interest, the one they're here for, they don't know about. What is Sagittarius's love interest? Want to tell Sagittarius that they haven't said the one they're out of contact with. See, show me cards I need to see. Okay, so they're at a sense of loss here, okay? Or they left you out in the cold, or they're leaving you out of the cold because there's delays. But they want you to know that the answers that you need are coming. That they're waiting for the right time to take the action because they don't want to let the past hold them back. Right now, they're like, look, nothing's coming of a situation here. So let me just isolate myself and focus on my own pleasures. I'm talking to my friends and I'm spending some time alone to really think about things and contemplate things so I can illuminate uh, what I want to do about the situation. I regret what happened here and I know I need to step out outside my comfort zone here, okay? And I do want to take some kind of risk here. And I want to embrace that. I just need to make sure that I'm going the right way. Okay, so let's now see if you're going to hear from them in the next three months, okay? Let's find out. Let's use this deck over here. Okay, will Sagittarius hear? Will they... Will their love interest that they're out of contact with right now, will they hear from them? Will there be contact? Will they, will they contact them? Will their love interest that they're out of contact with right now contact them in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. All right, so we got the Four of Cups. We got the devil card energy, okay? We have the queen of cups. Okay, we have the four of swords. We have the emperor. We have the page of swords. The strength card. The tower card. And the eight of coins, okay. All right, in this situation, Sagittarius, it looks like you are probably going to have to step up and take a leadership role here and take control of this because this person's like, yeah, whatever I offer them, they're not going to accept here, and they keep obsessively thinking about this uh, when it comes to their heart, Queen of Cups energy, or getting some advice, obsessively getting advice, um, and they keep thinking and contemplating. We see that a power move needs to be made here because of a sense of immaturity or needing to gain some kind of new perspective. There's a lack of courage and strength and confidence. And uh, we see that there could be some kind of breakthrough if someone gains the courage, strength, or confidence to put the work or effort into it. Okay, so, because there's this trap energy right now, okay? And we see that Seven of Swords and someone's not being honest about because of a self-focus or love and abundance, okay? And we see that Page of Wands is saying, okay, there is exploratory energy here for fulfillment of desires. So I feel like in your situation, you're going to have to make a power move here because this person is going to keep procrastinating on it. Okay? So if you guys can, I would say make a power move with this person. Let me just get some advice for you guys. Okay, thank you. Okay, so advice is send a loving message. Okay, five of pentacles is saying because there's a sense of loss, 
and three of cups possibly through a friend or let's say hey say hey want to go out want to hang out three of cups energy okay so I want to find out now Sagittarius now I'm not seeing this person isn't really trying to they're trying to move forward with you you can see that with their cards that there hasn't they're having hesitations and um, they are procrastinating there okay but they they do intend it seems like their intentions are to reach out it seems like it's gonna go beyond the three months but it does seem like they have intentions but I feel like if you want to speed up the process you're gonna have to take you know to take control of this situation for a breakthrough to happen okay so that's what I mean to say um, what are some blessings that are coming up for Sagittarius in the next three months? Some blessings in the romantic love life. And good things that are coming in for them in the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see, Sagittarius. So Spirit is going to be sending you some signs here with the dragonfly energy. And it looks like you will be able to accomplish a lot with your goals. And luck is on your side. So you are lucky in the next three months. There is some lucky signs that are going to come up for you guys. I feel like it's going to be around work or like around your goals. So pay attention to these signs. When it comes to your romantic love life, there's going to be some signs coming in. And there's going to be a situation that's going to come up around work, okay, finance, or someone you work with, okay? We see the snake card. Use your intuition mm -hmm. when it comes to your desires. Pay attention to your intuition. Again, saying there are spiritual messages being presented here. Again, moon card is saying pay attention to your intuition. We see the coffin card. There is some kind of ending happening of challenges with the thorns card energy for a reconciliation or towards a reconciliation judgment card energy. So Spirit is saying, look, do some soul searching about this situation. So it looks like you're going to see some kind of sign, okay, coming up, possibly around work or when you're doing something, around your goals pertaining to your romantic love life. Spirit is saying that luck is on your side. There are going to be some signs presented to you, which is going to give you an understanding of the situation. And now they said in the next three months, these things that have been challenging for you are now going to end, okay? Uh, and there's going to be a reconciliation or things are going to start to rule in your favor, right? Angel saying, yes, you are protected. And there is an opportunity coming in key card energy. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius's, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. So my darlings, there's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. There is the monthlies, there's the weeklies, there's the next two weeks. There's what you need to know right now. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. The reading I'm going to bring out tomorrow is the mid-monthlies, which will be love, create finance, and health and wellness. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.